Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Meryn Schoet and I'm the coordinator of the Bachelor of Media and Communication here at La Trobe University. Firstly, I just want to say that I'm sorry I don't get to meet you face to face this year. Things are obviously a little bit different. I hope that if I don't answer all of your questions in this presentation that you'll hang around for the live Q&A afterwards and I will happily answer them there. But back to the matter at hand, the Bachelor of Media and Communication. Uh, why is it different? Why is it special? And why would you come to La Trobe? Well, at La Trobe, we have four different disciplines. We have journalism, sports journalism, media industries, and public relations. In journalism, you'll learn how to report, produce, and present compelling stories across a range of platforms, developing those storytelling skills that are becoming valuable across a range of industries. In sports journalism, you will take those skills potentially to a traditional media organisation, but also one of the growing media roles in sports organisations themselves. In media industries, you'll get behind the camera, working on radio and TV production, mobile storytelling and digital production, focusing on those all important video skills that have become really important. And in public relations, you'll learn the skills to become a professional communicator on behalf of an organisation, client or brand, and focus on some of the fastest growing communications roles in social media. Now, I do just want to say the traditional media industry has been one sector in Australia that has been dramatically reshaped by technology and also the impact of COVID-19. But actually, over time, media has always been reshaped and changed by technology. At La Trobe, we understand we now live in a time when there has never been more content available, never more ways to create it and consume it. In short, there are now more ways to communicate to different audiences than ever before. Knowing what to say, where to say it, and how to say it is actually a critical part of many organisations. In this way, media and communication skills have actually become valuable in so many ways outside of the media industry. And in addition to technical skills, like podcasting, the soft skills this degree delivers, like creativity, digital literacy, written and verbal communication, problem solving and teamwork, are always noted by the World Economic Forum as skills of the future. You'd also be hard pressed to find any employer report that doesn't mention communication as one of the key skills across many industries in any employees that they look for. Now, a career in media and communications may look different now than it did 10 years ago, even five years ago, even last year. But what's been really exciting for us is to see how our graduates have taken skills that we've delivered in this degree and really run with them. Now, you can see a much more detailed list of some of these graduates and where they've ended up on the attached slides to these presentations. But I guess I just want to quickly say that, you know, they're working journalists, but they're also podcast producers, they're digital content officers, they're media advisors in the Department of Premier and Cabinet. Our sports journalism graduates work as journalists, but they also work in social media production and management for AFL clubs. Um, we also have graduates that work as media managers for national sporting organisations. Our media industries graduates work as videographers in sports clubs, as editors and producers for production companies, and they're embedded in corporate organisations as multimedia producers. Our PR graduates work as comms and marketing advisors for major health organisations. They work as PR executives in agencies, and increasingly as social media managers in a range of different organisations. So to sum up quickly, some reports might seem dire, but we believe there will always be a market for excellent media and communication graduates. In a world where communicating your message is becoming more and more important, these roles and these skills are actually critical. So media and communications can take you to a range of exciting places. How will we at La Trobe actually get you there? Well, essentially what we do is that we know that employers in media and communication would like to see a portfolio of students once they graduate. So in every subject, we have something that can end up being a published piece or something you can put on a showreel or a CV. In podcasting, you'll develop a concept, you'll interview people, you will edit it together, you will then publish it and produce it. So you will have something public that you can put on your showreel. Similar to mobile storytelling where you'll be taking your phone and creating HD standard quality content that could be broadcast on television stations. Um, you'll also do things like you know come up with a, a campaign 
uh, or an issues and crisis management plan in PR. And in sports commentary, one of the sports journalism subjects, uh, you'll actually lay down a commentary track, uh, but guided by experts that you can add to your showreel. Now we do this in every subject that we do, but in third year, we also then really step it up. So in third year, you have a choice of what we call work integrated learning subjects, which essentially means subjects that actually mirror real world work. So one of these is the internship, where you can do up to 120 hours in an organisation that is relevant to your degree. And La Trobe has already partnerships in place with organisations like Carlton, like Melbourne City, like the Australian Ballet and the NGV. So that's great for getting real world experience, but also connecting and making contacts and networks. And that internship uh, you do and counts for university credit. It's a subject. And then we also do it in subjects that are run in-house at La Trobe. And these particular subjects for media and communication are called the agency and upstart. In the agency, this is La Trobe's in-house student-run PR agency, obviously guided and overseen by academics. Students work together in a real-world agency situation to service clients. We've had over 200 students go through over 500 different projects and now we have graduates coming back to use the agency and employ students from it. An Upstart, an Upstart Live. You work in an editorial team in Upstart Live to produce a range of breaking stories and also feature stories across the semester. Upstart Live, you work within a broadcast team to put together a live show in our studio every week. And if you would like to work in live production in any way, this is the best way to do it. Put yourself under pressure, put out a live show every single week. Now, both the agency and Upstart are special in that we don't just let you do them once and think, oh, I really learned something that I could actually extend on further. You get to do them up to three times because we understand that the best way to learn in these subjects as well is give it a shot, then come back, refine again. This also means that you can do both Upstart and Upstart Live. You can change around and play different roles. You can service different clients across the agency. So we really think that this work integrated learning is a critical part of how you will get a good career in media and communications. And so we deliver it in spades in your third and final year at La Trobe. And I guess finally, why else would you come to La Trobe? Uh, well, all of your teachers here have all worked in industry and now come back in and we also love teaching. So essentially, we would just love to see you in our classroom and really enjoy encouraging students and helping them develop skills to get to the next level and excel in media and communications. So I really hope that we might see you on campus. Thank you.